Welcome to the MicroStrategies Mobile App Developer Academy. This course is entitled In-App Alerting. In this video, I will walk you through the process of enabling your MicroStrategy Intelligence Server to send push notifications to your iOS device. Push notifications proactively alert users through a pop-up on their mobile device. These notifications appear on top of whatever app you are currently viewing. With MicroStrategy Mobile, you can push a notification to users when a metric reaches a threshold or on a schedule. This pushes decision-making even further forward. Now, you can see important data without even opening the MicroStrategy Mobile client. This is great for getting an urgent, data-triggered message to a user, but you can also use push notifications for more routine messages, maybe to alert a user that a report or dashboard has new data. A few things you need or should know before you start. You need an Apple developer account with access to the iOS developer program to generate a unique app ID and provisioning profile. You also need a Mac computer to generate a certificate. Additionally, you need a custom MicroStrategy mobile app ready for customization in Xcode. Again, this requires a Mac. At a high level, this is what we will be doing. First, I will generate a push notification certificate using my Apple Developer ID and install the push notification certificate on the Intelligent Server. This certificate will verify to the Apple Push Notification Service that the Intelligent Server is a valid provider of notifications. Second, I need to customize the MicroStrategy app to include a provisioning file that allows me to install the app on my device. I will create this provisioning file include it in the app using Xcode, compile the app, and install the app on my iPad. Finally, in MicroStrategy Web, I will create an alert on a threshold based on a schedule. The threshold and schedule determine the message that shows up on your app icon. Due to the many steps involved, we will move quickly and focus on the mechanics rather than the theory of setting up in-app alerting. Definitely pause and rewind when necessary. Start on your Mac. The first step is to generate the push notification certificate. In a web browser, head to the Apple Developer Member Center and find the Certificates, Identifiers, and Profiles area. Under the Identifiers, create a new App ID. Provide a description and bundle ID, which you can make up. This bundle ID will be used later to identify your compiled app, so write it down. Ensure that under App Services, you enable push notifications. Then click and you've created an app ID. Now, continuing on your Mac, open the Keychain Access application. From the Keychain Access menu, under Certificate Assistant, select Request a Certificate from a Certificate Authority. Enter an email address, common name, CA email address, and select Save to Disk. This will save the certificate signing request file on your local machine at the path you designate. You will need the file later. Head back to your web browser and navigate back to the app ID you just made. Ensure push notifications are configurable here at the bottom of the distribution column then click the Edit button. On the new page, at the bottom, under Production SSL Certificate, click Create Certificate. Click Continue, and in the next page, upload that certificate signing request, and click Generate. Download the generated .cer file to your Mac. If you now refresh and look at the App ID list, your App ID's push notification will be set to Enabled. Import your .cer file that you just downloaded into your keychain by double-clicking it. In the Keychain Access Assistant, you can see the push notification certificate and the private key. Click on My Certificates on the bottom pane and log in on the top pane. Then do the following two steps individually. Select the certificate only. Export this by right-clicking and selecting Export. 
export it as apns-cert.p12 file on your desktop. Make sure it says Personal Information Exchange P12 down here. You don't need to give it a password, but you may need to give it your local password. Then separately do the same thing for the private key only. Export this as apns-key.p12 file on your desktop. Again, you may need to give your local password. Different services and applications require certificates in different file formats. While most browsers use .p12 files, we need .pem files. Both these .p12 files need to be converted into PEM files and concatenated into one PEM file. Open Terminal and within Terminal, navigate to your desktop or wherever you save the files to do this. You can do this with four lines of commands, each of which I will explain in a moment. I'll show them to you here and leave them on the screen for a few seconds at the end for you to read more carefully. The first command converts the certificate file to a PEM file. The second command converts the private key file into a PEM file. It will ask you to enter a password and a passphrase. Leave the password blank and enter an easy four-character passphrase. Next, remove the encryption from the private key so MicroStrategy can read it without having to enter a passphrase. It will prompt you for the passphrase you just chose. Finally, concatenate certificate and private key into one PEM file. This will take both the certificate PEM file and the newly unencrypted private key PEM file and jam them together. Notice the final name is named apns-prod.pem. Open the file in terminal to check that all of the correct components are there. bag attributes, certificate, and RSA private key information. Zip this new apns-prod.pm file up and transfer it to your intelligent server machine. Then unzip it to a file location that the intelligent server can access. I'm not showing you the step here, but I typically unzip the certificate file to my program, files, common files, microstrategy folder on my intelligence server machine. We're going to enter the next phase of implementation now, installing the push notification certificate that you just made on the intelligence server. Open MicroStrategy Developer, connect to your project source, and navigate from administration to delivery managers down to devices. Double-click Mobile APNS for iPad or Mobile APNS for iPhone, depending on whichever one you want. You should be looking at the device editor. Remember that app ID or bundle ID I said you should write down? Here's the first place you'll need it. Enter the bundle ID in the app ID field. In the IP address server name field, enter gateway.push.apple.com. Under Provider Certificate, provide the address for wherever you save that unzipped apns-prod.pm file. I'll leave this on the screen for a moment. Now that that's done, move back to your Mac. We need to compile a MicroStrategy mobile client app with the correct bundle ID, then get the matching provisioning profile onto the iOS device that will be running the client. Open Xcode and your MicroStrategy mobile client project. In the summary section, enter the app ID bundle identifier. Open Xcode Organizer. Plug in your iPhone or iPad to your Mac and you should see it in the left pane of Organizer. You need to create a new provisioning profile that is associated with the bundle ID you just used. Then get that provisioning profile to that device you just plugged in. If you look, 
My connected device does not have any provisioning profiles right now. I'm going back to the Apple developer website, going to the Certificates, Identifiers, Devices page, and at the bottom going to Provisioning Profiles, where I'm going to create a new provisioning profile. Click on Distribution and go ahead and create a new provisioning profile using the plus sign. What I'm going to do now is to create a new ad hoc distribution provisioning profile. Hit Continue. Double check that the correct app ID is selected. In this case, it's Demo in App Alerting. Make sure that's the one you just used in your MicroStrategy mobile client in Xcode. Select the certificate I want to include. Select the device this provisioning profile will be put on. Name it something and click Generate. It might take a second. When it's done, you're going to download it and head back to the Keychain Assistant. And you're going to add that provisioning profile to the device you want to load that app onto. After your mobile device has the correct provisioning profile, head back to your Xcode project. Ensure your connected mobile device is selected in the top left and click Run. This will load the app onto your selected device. When the compiling is complete, open the new MicroStrategy app on your mobile device and in its advanced settings, enable push notifications. Okay, yet again we need to switch environments, this time to MicroStrategy Web. Find and execute a report with at least one attribute and one metric. Right click on a metric, select alerts, and then select mobile notification. The alerts editor displays. Set up a threshold that determines the condition on which the alert will trigger. Here, I'm setting it to trigger whenever cost is greater than zero. This is for demonstration purposes, so it's pretty simple. Expand delivery settings. Name it whatever you want. Select a schedule. I've created one called Immediate Test just for demonstration purposes. I'm going to send it to a tablet, so I select a tablet in Device Type. For target application, make sure you select Mobile APNS for iPad or Mobile APNS for iPhone, depending on whichever one you are building. And send the messages you want to send. Here I'm going to keep it pretty simple. Cost is greater than zero. Select Run Subscription immediately to test it out. Before we move on, make sure to notice the Update Application Badge with the value of this metric option. Use this option to update the little number that appears on your app's icon on your mobile device. We're done with MicroStrategy Web, so hit OK. I quickly switch back over to my iPad. A notification pops up as expected. Drag it down, tap on it, and it'll take me to the MicroStrategy mobile app and straight to the report I based that alert on. And that's it. This was a fast walkthrough with little exposition, but the end-to-end -end setup should get you started. Thank you for listening to In-App Alerting.